the urge to dominate. Critical thinking is necessary in order to overcome the urge to dominate. The subjective attitude is where you put your own worldview onto things. You project your own worldview, your opinion, your internalized rule book. The irony is, is that most of the time a person doesn't stop to reflect on their internalized rule book or their assumptions about reality or their worldview. Where did your worldview come from? Where did your opinions come from? Usually the opinions are conditioned by the result of their re reflection of what you were born into. Whether your parents were gangsters or doctors or what kind of music did they listen to? Were they religious? Were they, were, what were their professions? Or were they unemployed? All these things will influence your worldview. And I've heard people say, tell me, try to tell me the way it is. See, I'm telling you, this is the way it is. One of these days, you're going to have to wise up. I've heard people talk this way without even reflecting, saying, well, where exactly did you get the authority to, to tell anybody the way it is? It's a delusional state that happens to, I guess it happens to everybody at some time or another. It happens to me sometimes, I, I'm pretty sure things. The antidote to that is to aspire to be open. And yes, I'm aware of my ignorance and I'm aware of my confusion. And I'm aware that I'm so confused, I don't, there's stuff, I don't even know what I don't know. I can be deluding myself and not, and don't even know I'm deluding myself. So the uh, it's an attitude to aspire to an attitude of openness, curiosity, patience, tolerance, inquisitiveness, as opposed to an attitude of of because I'm me, I thought about it, therefore it's true. I'm telling you, that's the way it is. And you say, well, how do you know? Well, because I thought about it, and my thoughts don't lie. You know, that's kind of a naive reality and and often these people back up their naive views of reality with strong emotions saying look don't argue with me you're such a radical you always have to disagree you know stuff like that so uh, the point uh, and that creates conflict tension you know you're setting yourself up as an authority uh, th that you're somehow superior to other people that you have somehow superior insight and you want to go out and evangelize, you want to be a missionary and convert people to your way of seeing things, or you want to point out to people where they've gone wrong, that you feel you're the only wise one left and everyone else is attached to their chains or whatever it is. Everyone else is confused except you because you have the divine wisdom. Why? Because you are you. There's no other. It's totally irrational and it's not very friendly. It generates conflict, irritation, bad feelings. It's not useful. That's why there's the aspiration to open and to learn and to explore. And that's why art, one of the reason, one of the many, many reasons why culture is so important as a, it provides a means of opening and connecting to a reality beyond word, beyond opinion, beyond belief and so on.